Hey, we haven't done a player focus in a while. I got three here for you. We're going to start by taking a close look at our new running back, Boston Scott. And then we're going to take a look at two linebackers together, both of them trying to make this 53-man roster. Let's start off with Boston Scott. 5 feet 7, 195. Kind of fits the mold of the Rams' new running back model. Out of Zachary, Louisiana, he was a weightlifting champion in high school. Played his football at Louisiana Tech. Senior year, had 1,301 yards of total offense. That's 108 yards per game. Also returned kicks. He was selected by the Saints in the sixth round of the 2018 draft. Six picks after the Rams selected Sebastian Joseph Day. Four picks before the Rams selected linebacker Trevon Young. And 25 picks after the Rams selected running back John Kelly. Initially made the Saints 53-man roster, but was waived right before the season started and added to the practice squad. Signed off the Saints practice squad by the Eagles in December of that year. Started to make his mark in the 2019 season. On December 9th, had 10 carries for 59 yards and a touchdown against the Giants in an overtime win. Also had six catches for 69 yards. In week 17 against the Giants again, finished with 19 carries for 54 yards and three touchdowns. Also caught four passes for 84 yards. So you can see he's got some versatility in his game, can run the ball, can catch the ball, can return kicks. And those two games against the Giants earned him the name in Philadelphia as the Giant Killer. And that second game against the Giants, he was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Did it again in 2020, had a game-winning catch from Carson Wentz in a 22-21 win against the, you guessed it, the Giants. Had 92 total yards in that game, also returned punts. Ended up starting four games for the Eagles while Miles Sanders was out. Ended up with 80 carries for 374 yards and one rushing touchdown to go along with 25 receptions for 212 yards. So in all, played in 75 games for the Eagles plus eight playoff games in the regular season, averaged 4.3 yards per carry and had 16 TDs. And in the playoffs, 22 carries, 120 yards and three TDs. So yet another running back that can find the end zone for our Rams. And of course, he has that extensive return experience. 66 returns for over 1,500 yards. That's over 22 yards per return. So the Rams might be killing two birds with one stone here, adding some running back depth, but also adding a guy that could answer their return game question. We've been discussing that for quite a while on Rams Up. What are the Rams going to do with this return game? They got to do something, especially with new rules. The fair catch approach is not going to cut it anymore. Boston Scott could very well be the answer. And, and I think he makes this roster at the expense of, well, we'll get into that another day. My next player focus, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to do two for one here. Two linebackers trying to make this Rams team, Olakunle Fatukasi and Omar Spates. Now, I don't mean to suggest that these guys are similar. They're really not. The only thing they have in common is they're trying to win a spot on this roster as potentially the fourth linebacker. And if they are going to be successful, they're going to have to be a really strong special teams player. Hey, and maybe one of these guys really steps up and pushes Christian Roseboom for the job as that number two linebacker. Right now, I see them as competing for that third or fourth linebacker spot, Troy Reeder, Jake Hummel, and these two guys all in a fight. And clearly, Hummel and Reeder have a leg up, but maybe these guys have something in store for us. So I'll do a little comparison of both these guys as we walk through. Fatu Kasi, he's been around a little bit, was with the Buccaneers in 2022, the Broncos as well and then spent some time with the Patriots and Chiefs. Didn't get a lot of action. I think he has seven career tackles. And then now with the Rams, he was named second and third team Big Ten in his time at Rutgers. Omar Spates, 23 years old. He was first team all Pac-12 with Oregon State 2022, and then moved over to LSU. 
Fatu Kasi, a bigger linebacker, 6'1", 241, Spates, 6 feet 230. If I had one line to share about Fatu Kasi, he's an old school linebacker, fundamentally sound, really good instincts, a bit of a thumper, but he can play on the outside as well. Spates, not flashy, but figures out what his role is and gets it done. Showed some of this on our UDFA segment. Both of them solid linebackers, though. What did they have nice to say about Fatu Kasi? Good tackler, great hand use. Spates, just reliable and consistent. The cons on Fatu Kasi, not a great athlete, has some limitations in coverage. Hey, 241 pounds, you'd expect that. And Spates, even though he's more mobile, a little bit better athlete, not great in space, breaking down, making tackles. So you start to think that maybe Fatu Kasi is the better run stopper. Spates, a little more versatile. Tell him what his job is and he'll try to get it done. So in summary, Fatakasi potential has your base inside linebacker on rundowns, probably. Spates, good downhill run stopper. Not great in space, but if you tell him he's got to cover somebody, he'll do a decent job. A little bit more athletic. And I checked in with Paul Walia to ask for, hey, who would you compare both of these guys to, to put it into perspective? And not saying these guys are going to be as good or comparable to these players, just the same style. And what we came up with for Fadu Kasi is Mike Jones, who came in almost exactly the same height and weight. So if you're looking for a guy to make a game-saving tackle in a Super Bowl, Fadu Kasi is your guy, apparently. Spates, Wally had pulled a name out of his hat that I had forgotten about, Dexter Coakley, who had a really good career with the Cowboys and then played with the Rams for two years. Very similar player and similar size. Only 5'10", close to the same weight, though. So there you have it, two linebackers pressuring Troy Reader and Jake Hummel for a spot on this roster. They're going to have to prove they can play special teams unless they really stand out in camp and pressure for a true backup role on this roster. And, or dare I say, even that number two linebacker spot, Christian Roseboom will have a lot to say about that. 